Joining us now is former Kansas City Fed President Thomas Honig. Uh, it's great to have you back on the show, and that is where I want to start this conversation. Uh, the fact that we've seen yields come off, we've seen oil come off, we, we see uh, more broadly signs that inflation is continuing to fall here, and yet, as evidenced this morning by jobless claims, the labor market continues to hang in there. Um, is a soft landing still achievable here, or is still too soon to tell? I, well, no one knows for certain, but I think the markets are becoming more confident, and I've seen more economists talking about it as well, that you could achieve a slow growth uh, forward, enough that it brings inflation down below the 3% on both total and core. And if that occurs, I think people will feel more confident that inflation is uh, in, in check, and that will move the markets uh, up even further and uh, give people a, a sense of optimism. Of course, the other uh, actions possible are that we, uh, we're we still, you know, in the third quarter, we saw banking uh, non-performings going up. We saw some weakness in some sectors. So if we were to encounter a recession, the Fed would uh, not only leave rates as they are, they would probably then tighten, even if inflation was a little high. That brings us into some real unknown uh, outcomes and risk for the economy going forward. So everyone's hoping for the first, but we're hardly there yet, and we still have, as you say, high, still reasonably high inflation expectations, and that will, uh, I think, play a role in the Fed's actions forward. But they're done moving for now, and now it's all about when they cut, and that's what everyone is expecting uh, sooner rather than later, depending on these events. Yeah, so I mean, look, that's, uh, looking at the Fed minutes, I mean, they're not talking about cuts, and we've had recent uh, Fed officials who have basically said they're not even talking about talking about cuts yet. But as we do see, to your point, inflation come down, just holding steady is doing something, even though it's technically doing nothing, um, because it keeps the rate not only restrictive, but more restrictive. Um, when do you think cuts actually happen? What, what do you think the Fed needs to see for, for them to actually consider cuts here? Two possibilities. One is, if inflation continues to come down, both total and core, that is without food and energy, well below 3%, I think they would cut because, the, as you say, the real rates would be going up. They would feel comfortable uh, lowering that, expecting then inflation to continue on down uh, as they go forward with real higher rates. And that would, that would cause them to, to uh, cut rates. The second is if, for whatever reason, banking problems as the non-performings begin to grow, uh, or the economy slows more than expected into a recession, then they would be very tempted to cut rates at that point. And I would remind you of one thing. Um, in some ways, we're still reasonably early in the cycle because in the, around the great financial crisis, it was more than two years after the Fed stopped raising rates that we had our first major banking problems like Bear Stearns, like the Fannie and Freddie failures, like Lehman Brothers, well over two years after. So they have to be cautious, and, they're, and they are being. They're talking, uh, we're going to make sure inflation doesn't reignite, but I think everyone knows that if we got into trouble, they would begin to ease sooner rather than later at, under those conditions. So, yeah, Thomas, a, a year ago, the Fed had a lot of critics, people saying, oh, they're hiking too fast, uh, they're going to break the economy, they're going to drive us into recession. That didn't happen. So taking a look at how they've handled this so far, do they still have enough tools in the toolbox, levers to pull, to get us through some of those scenarios, particularly uh, in commercial real estate that you mentioned? Well, commercial real estate um, is going to go through its cycle. The question is, will it be confined to that? And if, if it's just commercial real estate, then the Fed will come out of this, I think, in pretty good shape. But what I'm worried about is you're seeing this in the early stages spreading uh, beyond commercial real estate to commercial industrial loans. Uh, there's a lot of repricing going on in the market right now. The Fed knows that. So they're talking, they're, we're, they're saying we're going to stay firm uh, until inflation's down, but they have a lot of risk that still await them in terms of whether or not they uh, will be able to lower rates or uh, have to lower rates later. So they, they, have a long, they have a long ways to go yet before we're through this, I think. 